Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm sorry I've been away for so long. I've been busy with client work and designing new template packs for the website. Uh, if you want to check them out, uh, there'll be a link in my description. And uh, these are some of the new ones that I've done. Uh, but anyway, to start us off back filming content, I thought I'd run you through some of the Canvas search terms I've been using recently to make my designs. So hopefully if you're designing in Canva or you want new material that you can see what I'm using and a lot of it is kind of away from what you would typically search in Canva and they still give you amazing shapes and designs and textures that will just make your designs pop a little bit more than they are before. Without further or do let's get in and i'll show you what terms i've been using for the last couple of weeks so these are going to go quite fast but these are the fonts i've been using uh so this one's great for like sci-fi stuff uh, and then the next one we got is uh silver fake which is good for uh using as patterns it's quite a wide header so it's good and then we got uh me grim uh which i use a lot for sci-fi stuff it's a very thin font so it's good uh in between patterns and stuff like that then we've got Glacier Stencil, which is another great one. I really like wide fonts. Same with uh, Dovide and uh, Palabas Wide and uh, Condensed is always good for uh, typography. So getting in, we've got textures. Uh, so I was messing around trying to find whether overlays or film grains or stuff like that was working. But I actually found that just textures are very good as they are because there's so many different varieties and the further you scroll down the more weird and wacky it gets so you can get loads of cool patterns uh, so next we've got glass morphism uh, which is good if you need some kind of screens and uh, stuff like that for some of your projects all of them are see-through so you can use them with other elements like i'm showing here i mean it doesn't look that good but on the font one uh, you can get a real feel for how this glass works when i change the background so it looks pretty good um good to just add another element to your um designs so next i have fabric overlays this is more for if you're doing grunge or uh more content heavy designs i guess uh this just adds a lot of like scratches and textures that work really well for that kind of design uh next we've got lens flares uh which are always good you, you can um take the transparency down and they just work really well to uh shine different parts of your uh posters or whatever you're making uh next we've got the holographic overlays uh which are really good for like y2k stuff if you're into that um and also just gives another variety to your elements because you can um, turn down the shadows with transparency and uh, make them just fill in gaps that you don't want to be white or bland, you know. And then lastly, we have film grain on the textures, which is just good for uh, trying to get that retro vintage style on your pieces. I use grains a lot and all of them are really good in Canva. So coming on to shapes, uh, I never go for just searching for symbols or shapes. I always find Brutalism actually has the best variety of shapes and you can use that in different niches. So you can type something then Brutalism as we will get on in this video. But there's just so much variety and it's great if you're trying to make patterns or just trying to fill in little gaps in your images because you can really uh, narrow them down and put them in the small pockets that don't have a lot going on. So next we've got Cyberpunk Brutalism, which I find good because it has a lot of these grainy shapes, which have a lot of dots and stuff in them. So if you're going for more of a retro futuristic vibe, they can be a really good addition. And if you layer them up, you can make them look a little bit holographic or neon-y, uh, which I always find pretty good. But yeah, this is just a beautiful shape. Next we've got Y2K Brutalist. So this is really good if you need stickers or something that looks like stickers because they have so many different borders and shapes uh, that you can color and customize and fit and there's so many different designs. So whatever type of uh, graphic design you're making is good. And then I've been doing a lot of sci-fi recently. So honestly, sci-fi HUD is where I go for a lot of my uh, elements that I will use uh, alongside the pieces in my graphic designs because they just have so many different graphs, graphics, um, I don't know what you call those like rings and um like targets and stuff and they they all just work so well um in between your like main subject in your piece or if you're not going for more of an abstract design um then you can just sporadic them out and make it look good you know <laughs> another one that's pretty good is uh, memphis elements 
Uh, this is more off-grid type of stuff. They're all um, turned around in, at kind of weird angles and you can make very cool abstract work with this. Great for like surrealism and um, album covers I find. They're always pretty good for those. And then if you want something more um, vertical and horizontal at 90 degrees, uh, geometric patterns are the way to go. I use these all the time to fill in corners and just shape up my uh, designs because they're so good at just uh, framing an image. Well, I hope that's been helpful. I hope you found some new inspiration for your designs. If there's any kind of elements or things that you can't find in Canva that you want me to show you how to make or find in the search, uh, let me know down below and I'll make a, another video, a part two, on uh, your preferences and what you want me to find. Uh, but with that out of the way, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you want more Canva content. And yeah, check out my website, check out my Instagram, and I will see you all very soon.